in this video I am going to show you how to backup WordPress website from cPanel. So let's get started. To do this at first we need to log into our cPanel account. At first we are going to backup our WordPress files and then we are going to backup our WordPress database. So to backup our WordPress files from the cPanel dashboard scroll down to file section and then click on file manager. Click public underscore html. If you have multiple websites on your web hosting then here you will see multiple folders. But if you have only one website on your web hosting then you will see all the files here. So I am going to select my website folder. And after that I am going to click on select all from the top. And then we are going to click on compress from the top. Now we are going to select zip archive. And after that we are going to click on compress files. It will take a little bit time to compress our files. Our website files are now compressed. So we are going to close it from here. And now from the top we are going to click on reload button. And here you will see the backup of your WordPress website files. Now to download the backup of our WordPress website files. Just select it, right click on it and then click on download. And it will start downloading to our computer. So we are done with the files backup and now we are going to take the backup of our WordPress website database. To do this at first we are going to find our WordPress website database. Just click on wbconfig.php file, right click on it and then click on edit. Click on edit again. Now we are going to scroll down and here you will see database settings. Next to the db name you will see your database name. So here is our database name. And now we are going to take the backup of this database. So we will go back to our cPanel account again. Scroll down to the databases section. And after that we are going to click on phpMyAdmin. Now we are going to select our database. And after that we are going to click on check all. So all the database tables will be selected. Once all the database tables are selected. We are going to click on this drop down with selected. And after that we are going to click on export. Now click on go. And in this way your database will start downloading to your computer. So now you have your WordPress website files as well as database. And you can use this backup in the future in case something happened to your website. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.